In a hidden corner of the world, Empress Nefertiti Mumbi nurtures her extraordinary kin domain, a haven of beauty and serenity where nature flourishes and love blossoms. The Empress muses over the restoration of femininity, masculinity and its well-being. It has been disoriented in the technologically advanced culture. The time to impart wisdom about divine femininity is now, some insights to promote harmony and balance. Both the current and next generations will gain from this. First, wisdom is the aim of a woman's beauty. A woman's beauty was never meant to be exploited. Women exploited their attractiveness. A beauty whose true goal is to instill and sustain in mankind the spirit of the poet, artist, and creator. To do so, however, ladies must be pure. If there is insufficient purity, they begin to attract men with fleshly attractions, the external beauty of empty vessels. Ultimately, the women are left to deal with the fallout for the remainder of their lives once the men are tricked. Second wisdom, no woman can stop a man from fornicating if she allows herself to submit to him solely to gratify his sexual wants. If this occurs, their marriage will not be joyful. Third wisdom, true satisfaction in the flesh is impossible to achieve. People repeatedly engage in sexual interactions solely through the flesh, unaware that full satisfaction in the flesh is impossible to achieve. A man and a woman who combine on all planes of existence, driven by bright inspiration and genuinely aspiring to the act of creation, find immense satisfaction. The Creator has given such an experience to man alone. As you preserve the sentiments from it over time, all planes of being will with sublime impact happify your life and the lady as well. A woman capable of bearing a creation in the Creator's own image and likeness, his design. This experience is only possible if both of you desire a child and she is in love with you. Fourth wisdom, a false union is a frightening thing, children. They recognize the artificiality and untruth of such a union. This makes kids distrustful of anything their parents say. Even at their conception, children can detect lies subconsciously. That has a negative impact on them. We would all prefer to be made under a strong impulsion of love, the desire to create itself, rather than being born into the world as a result of someone's sensual pleasure. People who have entered into a fake union will seek true satisfaction in secret, away from one another. Fifth Wisdom Sex by itself for pleasure is wasted energy. It draws man away from the truth and breaks families. A tremendous amount of energy is wasted. Sixth Wisdom True Satisfaction, aside from two bodies. What more is required for ultimate satisfaction, besides two bodies? Complete awareness, a mutual desire to create, sincerity and purity of intent. Seventh Wisdom who light a new star in the heavens. Only man is given such an experience among all the species in the universe. Only men and women really want to have a child together. Only a man with such an experience may create a new star in the heavens. Only man strives for creation and co-creation, not for the gratification of his carnal desires. Eight wisdom who can overcome the devices of the dark forces. Ladies, women who have succeeded in realizing the truth and their own destiny. After that, the men will also change.